Oh, they? They finished their assignments and they've gone home. Home? Where, where is home? Come on, you ask a lot of questions. Why don't we get home, you relax, then you'll soon understand it. <laughs> You said my people would be your people. You said my home will be your home. And I have promised to take care of you. By the time you get home, you'll get used to the situation. I still have my mother. Awake. The sun does not shine as bright as you do. Neither does the moon look more beautiful. King's daughter. The heart of Amanatobo, the land of beautiful queens. Thank you. Ntana, Udo, Nana. Yes. You've been my friend since childhood. I trust your judgment. Tell me, how do I look? Hmm. You can't be more beautiful. Are you not the sun that brightens Samanatoko? Uh -huh. eh? The only daughter of Ochikeze. Ha -ha. You are beautiful. Don't you know you are the morning sun that shines on, on Amanatoko? Hmm? Thank you. Who is as beautiful? Who is as beautiful? Just tell me. Nobody. You are the first and others follow. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Nobody can match your beauty. Not in this uh, Amanato or even beyond. I want to spread my wings like that of a butterfly this morning. Yeah. I want to see my the My princess, fear. your food is ready. Later. I'm not yet ready. Yes, my princess. To explore the flowers. Mm -hmm. I am dreaming. <laughs> I know. Every woman dreams of the strong arms of a warrior. A wealthy farmer. Or a swift hunter. A very handsome man. Or even a prince. Nay, nee, I dream more than you do. Is it all about men? Husbands? Is there a man fit for the hands of Akweke? Have you seen? The gods have made a man for every woman. And I am sure there is a man out there for you. Just I am like I'm very, very sure there is a man out there for me as well. I have not seen a man qualified enough to command the love of Princess Akweke. The sunshine of Amanato. The only daughter of Ochikeze. <laughs> Akwa, there is a season for everything. A time to plant and a time to harvest. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to grow and a time to be given away. So when that time comes, I am very sure that you will know. And I am very sure again that the man that the gods have meant for you will surely come. Are you Believe sure? Me, I am sure. I am very sure. A man strong, <laughs> full of strength, as handsome as the morning sun, Able and radiating. Well, Akwasi, a man does not possess all these qualities the way you dream them. Some are born with them, others have them built into them. But I am sure a man will come for you. Just believe me. Ntana. You're a wise woman, <laughs> a good friend indeed. <laughs> I know. Look 
proud of when I'm hunting, I hunt for big animals. Not so. That is what you don't say. You think that you put something on the Hi. Hasn't you? I'm tired. Let's rest here. We'll continue later. Yes. Uh, <sighs> I think we'll have to rest. Today's hunting is not it at all. I wonder where all the animals have gone to. Uh, maybe they've gone for a community meeting. A community meeting? To discuss what? Animal business. How we daily disturb their peace and how we encroach their territory. <laughs> mm. Yes. It would be interesting if I were part of the meeting. You want to attend? Oh, of course, that would be nice. <laughs> it's no problem. Go, I'll wait for you. And when you come back, you tell me what the people deliberated in that. No, at least by the, time I, by the time I get there, they'll be at my back and call. Yeah, are you sure you'll be alive, make be alive to come back? <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, Asundo. I've been meaning to ask you this. What do you think about uh, the king's daughter? Um... Akweke. Does the king have two daughters? What do you mean what I think about her? I asked do you are my friend, are you not? I want to marry her. Eh? Yes. Kweke! What's that? Are you alright? Is it a crime to dream? Ubago, please. Wake up from that dream. <laughs> Just wake up. Don't even think of it. You, Ubago. A quick, eh? Hey. <laughs> See, let me tell you. Hey. I have dreamt it. It is coming to reality. Guess what? I am going to propose to a quick. Um, Ubuagu, candidly, huh? Mm -hmm. When you wake up from that dream, we we'll go and hunt. Let me tell eh? you something. Let me tell, let me tell future, you something. Future husband. Let me tell you something. Tell me what? Let me tell you something. You cannot do it. You can't even I try. love Akweke. And guess what? In this, I will marry Akweke. You? Let's bet it. Marry Akweke. Let's bet it. Over what? Two grass cutters. What's the time? Yeah, two grass cutters. Since morning? We've not even yeah, seen a rat. You don't know what and you're, you're betting for two grass you cutters. Don't, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh. You don't... Hey! What? What? And you're... Why not shoot, man? You're pursuing me. I, I thought it was something your uh, arrow would take. My arrow would take? Why then are you with gun? Hey, that's why we are two hunters. I have the gun. You have the arrow. What the gun will shoot? The gun will shoot. What the arrow will take? The arrow will take first. Then you are wanting me to shoot with my arrow. Yeah. And you had your gun. And you now scared the animal. Maybe I would have used the arrow at the back of your neck. Yeah. <laughs> 
Daughter of Ochikeze of Amanatongoro. I miss this. What is it? Oh. What do you want? Do you not know this is the secluded part of the stream? Oh, my princess, there is no reason for you to panic. I have come with an urgent matter for you. Out with it, I do not have time. My princess, you are beautiful. Mm. <laughs> Bright as the morning sun, mild as the, as the moon on a dry night, enchanting, just like... It's okay, I hear you. What is it you want to tell me? Oh, I am Obuago, the sweetest and richest hunter in Amanatongoro. I know who you are. I've heard about your prowess with animals and how you use your craftiness to lure them into your trap. What exactly is your problem? My princess, I have come to use that same craft to lure you into my marriage proposal. Here, listen, mm. my princess. This is meat. I killed it with my bare hands, prepared it, roasted it for this purpose. Please, accept it. It is from my heart. Hunter, every animal does not smell the bait. Akweke does not run after bushmeat. You do not qualify. Take your roasted meat and go look for some other woman of your estate. My princess, I love you so much. Please. I, I, I have dreamt about it. Be gone before I send the guards after you. Go! Just, just, just go. Eh? Young man, leave us alone. We have important things to do here and you're disrupting. Just go. And who told you that the princess is looking for a hunter's hito? Eh? Be gone! Princess Akweke. Be gone! I will leave you. But I will never give you rest. Take my bush meat. Maybe you told him you don't eat meat in your house. The sky is not sweet. What troubles the sky? My father. My son. My father. The only hunter that dares the lion and pulls the back on the ground. I swift with your hands. Ah! Father. You lure dangerous animals oh, into your trap with father, craftiness. Father, father. What is the problem? My father. When a man becomes a man, I mean, when a man becomes matured, what does he do? He builds a house or marries a wife. Father, I have built a house, a befitting one for that matter. Then go and look for a wife. Father, I have also found a woman. Hey, hey, my son, Father, that is good. But she is as stubborn as, as a chimpanzee. Keep at it, my son. Have you ever seen uh, the, the, the hen giving to the cock like that? No, father, no. And she normally takes him through a raw <laughs> run to test his love. Oh. And after that, she lowers her amount. Don't worry. After the flight, the termite falls for the dude. That's right. Hey, she will lower for a mount for you. She's very blunt and difficult. Then look for another one. There are so many ripe and ready to eat apples in, you know, uh, Amanato. Uh, go and make your choice. Father, there are many ripe apples here, yeah, but none is as remarkable as this one. It suits my heart, Father, please. Yeah. Well, father. let me ask you who is this mushroom that attracts the visit of the tortoise? Father, it's uh, the princess. Yeah. How quick? Yes, father. The daughter of the king, Ochikeze. Okay. Well, father, do you want to hurt yourself? How? Have you not heard about Akweke? How bloated she is, self-bloated, and, and does not have any regards for anybody? Father, father, but I am Obuago, I am Obuago. This tiger will not fall for you. Go and look for another one. Father, please don't be annoyed. If it's not a quake, I will die. Oh, you are a grown-up man. 
This is your dance. Do it the way you want to do it. I greet you. You're welcome. 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 The son of Igbo Keke, Iheji. I greet you. Thank you very much, messenger from Ezewan Kita. You welcome to my palace. Thank you. And my palace is your place. Yes, Igwe. It is said that the toad does not run in the daytime for nothing. It is true, my brother, and I pray that um, what is chasing the toad is not bigger than the toad. No. Mm. Gweze. Yeah? The next heir to Umuku Okabia has desired to take the hand of your daughter, the princess, in marriage. And we have come to show his desire. I see. Young man, have you had time to talk and play with the woman you desire to marry? Have you? Your Highness, no. But I have heard a lot of good things about her. I wonder, I want her to be my royal offsprings. Mm. Yeah. 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 Uh, my people. We have a saying that we do not leave uh, the yam head and dig at the tail. <laughs> well, I have seen all that you brought for a notice. But according to our custom and tradition, and wine does not uh, return from presentation. Hmm? So whether good or bad, it must be consumed. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, young man, my advice is that uh, you go back home and seek out time to play with the woman you desire to marry. Hmm? After all, you are not going to marry us. No. 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 <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Ingwe, for your wise counsel. I uh, will go back to talk to as a one keta to talk to his son. But expect us soonest. Please, when you return back to your place, send my regards to him. Hmm? We'll be waiting. You're welcome. My daughter. That's my father. The king of uh, Umuhu Okabia sent his son. A very handsome man, I must commend. He came to ask uh, your hands in marriage. My hands in marriage. Yes. He's a very handsome man, and the way I see him, he will make a very good husband. No. I have also known his father. Father, I am not yet ready for men to toss me around. When I'm ready, I'll make my choice. I want you to remember that um, a woman is not always in her prime. You must pick your flowers while they are in their blooms. Hmm? So don't let this season die in times of your blooms. Please. Father, I've heard you. There are men everywhere. When Akweke desires them, she will choose. Am I not Akweke? The only daughter of Ochikeze, of Amanato Okporo. They, they will always be there when I need them. All right. I've heard you. But always remember, it is said that it is teaching time, my daughter. Hmm? I've heard you, my father. I will see to it. Okay. Rise, my dear. Rise and be gone. The day has broken.
Your Highness! Princess Akweke! I greet you. Hunter, don't you ever give up. Akweke, the frog does not keep its eyes away from the fly until it has drowned in its mouth. The butterfly Akweke cannot stop dancing around the flower until it has drawn the nectar. Obogu will not keep his eyes off Akweke until she becomes his wife. Impossible. <laughs> Impossible. I have told you severally to wake up from your daydreaming dreamer. Keep your eyes on, on the antelopes, the grass cutters, the, 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 the rats in the bushes and leave me alone. Do I look like bushmeat? Akweke, Akweke, what does a woman want from a man? Akweke, I am Obuagu, the wealthiest hunter in Amanoto Okporo. I have filled my, my house with the wealth made from my hunting games. I will feed you, Akweke. Akweke, I will feed you from the fatness of the fresh meat of the harvest of the forest of Amanoto Okporo. Meat cannot buy love. I, Akweke, will not love you. Why don't you take your love to some other matured maidens and leave me alone? My body is not for an ordinary hunter like you. And let me warn you, if you do not stop intruding into my privacy, I will report you to my father, the king. Akweke, do I care? Love endures. But let me tell you, Akweke. I love you so much, Akweke. I cannot marry any other one but you. Be prepared to wait for eternity. I will leave Akweke. But I will never forget the love I have for you. Akweke. Obuago loves you. Akweke, if you ask me, oh, the hunter is a very handsome man. It is true. And he's in love with you. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. My body is not for an ordinary village hunter. I am yet to see that man worthy enough for the hands of Akweke. I cannot stoop that low. But that man, Ogwago, he's the toast of so many maidens in Amanatobu. They say his young barn is as Udo, big as... Shut up! Just shut up! Keep your praises. That ordinary village hunter. You don't need it. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I was only saying what I know. Do not say anything anymore before the rest of the day is ruined. Ntana, leave ah, me. We've not washed our feet now. We'll do that later, mm -mm, but please, let's, let's do it now. This is the right time to do it. Come, let's wash our feet. Um, hurry, please, before, before the rest of the day is spoiled. The king of Fu, Amanato. I greet you. I greet you too. I greet you. You're welcome. Hey. Your Highness, I am Omona, the son of Ogoro in Oh, oh, oh. My kinsman. Ah! You people came from the lineage of great yam farmers. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes, you're welcome. You see that? Yes, you I hope all is well. Uh, all is well, you're well. 
This young man here with me is my son, DJ. He has grown to become the biggest yam farmer in this Umudim and second to none in Uburu. Hmm? It's interesting. <laughs> Your Highness. Rise, my come, son. Rise, my son. You're welcome to my palace. Igwe. He has spotted a yam beetle flying in and out of your palace lately and asked me to accompany him to search it out. <laughs> you great yam farmers, you hardly can talk without uh, mentioning yam beetles. Eh? Anyway, uh, my elders, uh, have you ever seen these uh, yam beetles around my palace? No, no your highness. Would not. You had them. All right, uh, young man. Look around this my palace and see if you can spot the yam beetle. Your Highness, that beautiful yam beetle is your daughter. Akweke. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Desire to take her and put her in charge of my yam band. To see to my young. <laughs> Dogu, I want her hands in marriage. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> young man, I can see that uh, you stay with elders and you've learned enough wisdom. Um, what will I have to say? We are not the one that you have come to marry. Uh, it will be proper if I send for her. Uh, Ude? Ude? Your Majesty. Get the princess. Iwe! Get the princess. My princess. I found one. People should hurry up and make sure she looks beautiful. Oh, too. Your beauty radiates the entire kingdom of Amanat and beyond. You are the sunshine. Are you not my mother? You have made me so. Only a fulfilled man is qualified to have you as a bride. I have not seen that man qualified for my hands. Don't worry, my dear. Our ancestors will grant you your heart desire. You see? Oh, ah, come. Ades, oh, darling, me cham. Ades, you push me so she looks beautiful, okay? Yes, and hurry up with that. Ades. <laughs> oh. Wow. I hope she likes this one. What are you saying, Nana? It will be madness if she does not. <laughs> As if you don't know Awake. She may... What are you saying? Eh? If I were you, I'll be saying she should look well so that she does not fall into the hands of the wrong one. Eh? <sighs> what do you girls think about Obuago? Obuago? I can fall into the hands of that man with my eyes closed. Eh -heh. You see, we think alike. Ntana, mm -hmm. what do you think about Obuago? Well, he's good. But that is not the only thing a girl looks out for in a man. Tana, what else does a girl look for in a man that Obuago does not have? Oh, you don't know. You want me to tell you? Yes. No problem. Plenty things. Did you my foot? Who cares who he is? For all I care, he can be the richest yam farmer in the whole of Amalato Okporo. He is not fit for my hands. Akweke, my daughter, how long will you continue to reject suitors? You refuse to marry the prince, Didi and Dinta. Who else will you marry? Oh, mother, please. When the time is ripe, I, Akweke, will choose a man who I will marry. Akweke. A stitch in time, they say. Mother, bury your worries. Bury your worries. It is I, Akweke. I will not disappoint you when the time is ripe. 
May our forefathers grant you your heart desire. Mother, I need to take a walk. Ntana. Your Highness. When you come back, make sure you sing. Yes, Your Highness. This is good palm wine. Good palm wine. I took time because good of a good friend like you. Uh, but, um, Obuago, mm -hmm. I told you this before you ventured in. About what? Didn't I? I asked you to leave Akweke. Uh -huh. Listen, let me tell you. Akweke does not believe there's any man in Amanatobo that is fit for her. She does not believe that. Azundu. Azundu. <laughs> I don't want to know whether Akweke is a peacock, dog fowl, or even vulture. <laughs> what I want to tell you is that my mind is fixed on Akweke and nothing else. Hey, Gurugu. Hmm? Kweke! That is me. Um, Obuago, I will advise you. I will advise that you leave Akweke. You go and marry a woman that will respect you as her husband. Oh, Azundu, Azundu, forget about the is, this issue of respect. When we get there, I will know how to handle it. Okay, I think I will advise you to eat more of no, the meat. No, eat, you know, you, are the, you huh? came to my house, eat. Eat, eat more eat, of the meat some... and drink the palm wine. So that when you drink the palm wine, it will get down on you. When it does, you go into your hut and sleep. And when you wake up, you forget about this dream. Azundu, Azundu. Mm. Azundu, mm -hmm. you do not know who I am. Mm. Don't you know who I am? Mm. I am Obuago. Mm -hmm. Will I ever set a prayer and get my eyes off it? A at all. So what will happen? We are talking about animals. <laughs> but here we are talking about human beings. Leave Akweke alone. <laughs> Get out of here! Get out! Get out! Look at this imp. They'll never allow one have peace of mind. Can, can, can you imagine? Won't you leave him back here alone? Let me see you again. I'll, I'll, I'll break you. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Oh, boy, you see that? What was he even saying? Eh? <laughs> My princess, please let us know before they will start looking for us. Please don't even worry me at all. Akweke does not need that. Don't drive me too hard. Hmm. Akweke, if you were not a princess, I wonder what you would have been. Oh, you're still asking? She would have been an egg. <laughs> <laughs> Please just go, go. We want to gossip a little. Go. Yes, my princess. Hey, mm. don't come and spoil my mood. As I was saying, hey. Hey. Hmm. what do you want us to talk about? Oh, there are plenty of things to talk about. Let's talk about um, men. Yay! <laughs> Let me ask you, hey. what exactly do you want in a man? <laughs> now you have come, my dear. I want a strong man, reliable man, a man that can make me feel like a woman. Someone like a wago. Yes. Eh? <laughs> See this one, no? You're dreaming. You're dreaming, no? What do you mean I'm dreaming? Eh? If you ask me, I will agree. Because Akweke has said she does not want to marry him. Yes, yes. I do not want to marry him. And he's not my type. Exactly. Don't you know who I am? If you should ask for your hand in marriage, my dear, do not hesitate. Exactly. Hey. He does not fit in at eh? all. Doesn't he know who you are? Eh? Can't he see this beauty and know that he does not qualify? My sister. You need a very strong man, yes. not Oboago. Let me ask so. Is Oboago not handsome? Yes. Oboago is not bad. If he comes to marry me, I will accept. <laughs> See this stupid yeah. <laughs> Plenty of dreamers. Oh. Dreamers! Anyway, if you ask me, my kind of man, First, 
He has to be tall. Hey, number one. <laughs> Handsome. Strong. Rich. His beauty will radiate like the early morning sun. Such as when my body touches his body. Oh! oh my God. God. This is the man I want. You are forgetting wealthy. Let me tell you something. You people are asking for an impossible man. That is my He is not impossible. He Shit. will carry like me in his hands like an egg. Am I not a quack? Am I not a quack? Go on, I was dreaming, not me. Go on, go on, follow, go on, 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 as a homage to you. Mm. And to make worries about the wealth of the princess. I see, I see. You are welcome. Welcome. He also asked us to bring back a message about his last visit. Um, I have heard you people. Please tell him that the princess is doing well. And as you can see, we are in good health too. Also tell him that uh, the princess did not consider his son's uh, request. That we wish him well. Hmm? Your Highness, mm -hmm. the king gave us some gifts for the princess. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> that wouldn't be necessary since the uh, princess uh, did not consider his request. Hmm? You will take that one back. Take it back to him. Hmm? Hmm. Thank you. And tell the king that I wish him well. Thank you, Your Highness. We shall take the message back to the king. Please. Please. Thank you. Eh? You're welcome. You can leave those ones. Leave those ones. The message you will take back is the one for princess. So go home. This one is before the king. You can't take it away. But that of the princess, let them take home. You are right. Who then was my case, man? I've been thinking about that lady. Who? The princess. The princess, of course. Akweke. What about the princess? <laughs> Do you want to marry her too? <laughs> I do what with my own wife if I marry her. Uh, I do with my own wife. Who knows? Maybe you have decided to take a second wife and you don't want us to know about it. Fiakwa. <laughs> do you know what? I have been thinking the way this girl has been rejecting all suitors that offer their hands in marriage. That's my boy. Who's that here? You are correct. Do you know she rejected a prince? Uh -huh. She also rejected a hunter. And the biggest young farmer Mama. in this village. Who else does she want to marry? I don't know. Are you sure that girl is prepared to get married at all? Well, she's a princess. All princesses in Amanato do not stay back in their father's houses. She has no other choice about it. She must get married. That is true. Well, we're watching. Maybe she's waiting for our forefathers to send one from the yeah. beyond. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I want you to talk to her. The way she has treated her suitors is very bad. Does a young lady drive away suitors? No, Your Highness. No. I know she listens to you when you speak. I want you to talk to her. Your Highness, I'll talk to her. I'll advise her and I am very sure she's going to change her mind. 
That's okay. You can go. Thank you, Your Highness. Oju, Your Highness. What am I going to do concerning Akwek? Nothing, Your Highness. I'm sure she will change her mind and do the right thing. I hope she does the right thing. Just go ahead, let's finish up what we're doing. know my husband people are coming in the next two market days. Hey! My sister. Huh. Are you not lucky? Yes, I am. Huh. I hope you're not going to turn them away. Hmm? Turn them away? <laughs> Do I look like Princess Akweke that chases away her suitors anyhow? Don't mind oh. her. My dear, listen. I can't wait to put on my brother outside and answer your wife. Hmm. Well, my people are still talking with my man's people. Yeah. I know they will conclude and come and pay my bright price. Oh. That would be nice. But who do you think that princess will marry? Mm, I don't know. Maybe the gods will come down from the sky and marry her. Hmm. Please, I don't want to talk. Hurry up, let's start going. It's like it's trying to rain. Oh, you're I hope you can carry your own. Oh. Can I ask you a question? Of course you can. Do you think I've been too hard on my suitors? No, not at all. You are a full-fledged woman. And I know you know what you want. But if you ask me, I would have said that you should have considered the Prince of Umu Wakabia. That man is handsome. Tana. Love is not what you see, it is what you feel. I do not feel anything for the prince. Mm. Yes. So, what of the farmer and the hunter? Honestly speaking, I do not feel anything for those ones. I believe that at the appointed time, the right man who will touch my heart will come. And I, Akwanwa, will marry that man. Uh -huh. Aqua, I totally agree with you. I agree with you. Just wait. Eh? Your own man will come. Mm -hmm. If you ask me, all those men that are parading themselves as suitors here, they don't deserve you. You see? They don't deserve your hand in marriage. Right. They don't qualify. Now you understand. Listen to me. Just wait. Your own man will come. Mm -hmm. Now you understand. Very well. Of course I understand. That is why I'm your friend. Mm -hmm. Fall for anybody. You shouldn't. Don't mind it. Don't let them rush you.
daughter. I am worried about you. Father, why? The way you have turned down husbands is giving me concern, honestly. Hmm? If you can't marry a farmer, a hunter, or even the prince that came, who will you marry? Eh? Who? Or you want to marry a pan wine tapa? Father, you do not have to worry. If I don't marry a farmer from Amanato, can't I marry one from Abara? Or if I refuse to marry a hunter from Amanato, can't I marry one from Amifeke or Ihioma? Father, I haven't seen that man my heart goes out to. When I see him, you will hear from me. It's alright. It's just that um, one does not have to wait all her life to make choice of a husband. You are a princess and you can't marry a miss. Anyway, I am waiting. Thank you, my uh, friend. One more thing. One who listens to a wise counsel lives long. I want you to think about this. All right? Yes, my father. You scared me. Uh, you are here alone? Oh, yes. I came to look around and take some fresh air before I finally come back here with Akweke. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, that reminds me. How is she, the princess? Well, she's okay. Eh, Ubuago, I want to ask you. I hope you're not hurt by Akweke's attitude towards you. I know it's bad, but I, I don't have a choice. I have to ask you. No, no. Love, they say, takes anything. Mm. Oh, let me ask you, does the, the hen give in easily to the cock? <laughs> no. Eh, Obuago, I want to ask you. What is it? See, Mosi Biakweke. Eh? Mosi Biakweke. Don't you know that there are girls that are ready to throw themselves at you if you want it? Mm. Eh? Mm. Eh, eh? Girls that are ready to love you more than Akweke. Ah ah, look well now. Eh? Just look well. Eh? Are you blind? Just take a look. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, what is your name? <laughs> Ntana. Oh, Ntana. Beautiful name. <laughs> yes. You know Ntana? Beautiful name for a beautiful woman. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know that you're very pretty and beautiful? Are you serious? I'm very Thank pretty. You. And beautiful. you are beautiful and pretty, but <laughs> Akweke is much more beautiful than you. So you see, if it's not Akweke, it's nobody. Eh? Hey. Okay. In that case, you will not get married. In fact, you are not even ready to get married. Look at you. I came to help you. I came to persuade you, to save you from, from, from Akweke. And if you don't want to go, who is holding you? I'm not even holding you, Seth. Ntana. Hmm? Do have a nice day. Just, just look at this small boy that I came to help. Eh? Oh, 
ओके Can't even greet us. Can you imagine? Call the stranger. Stranger, you just walked by and you did not greet me. Um, my name is Akweke, the princess of this kingdom, the only daughter of Ochikeze, the king of Amanato Oporo. Please excuse my careless habits, my princess. It's just that my mind is on a mission. You're a very handsome man, I must confess. My princess, you are equally a very beautiful lady. Thank you. Like I said before, um, I'm on a mission. If you'll allow me, I'd like to run. May I have the honor of inviting you to the palace? It, it all depends on when and time that I have for my assignments. After sunset tomorrow. Okay. I'll be there. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Getting walked up because of this stranger. Well, he said he, he, he was going to come. He, he's supposed to be here. Yeah, Where is he? Princess, he, he could be held up by some other business. I'm sure he will come as he promised. I hope so. Stop getting walked up. I don't like it. My presence. Yes. There is someone here to see you. Is he, is he tall, handsome, elegant, good looking? It is the hunter uh, work. Hey. I don't want to see him. I do not want to see him before I open my eyes. Let him be gone from this palace. Get out! What rubbish! I'm waiting for someone, someone after my, uh, my heart is after and he's here disturbing me with his... Oh. Calm I do not want to see no. him here! Rubbish! Uh -huh. Calm down. Calm down. Why are you so worked up? Eh? Father, calm down. He will come. He will oh. come. Okay? What is it? Calm, calm down. I don't like me. I don't. Stop it. It's okay. He will come. Just come and sit down. I'm getting bored of her. This you is character. You should be. What is this? How can someone be throwing herself at a man that does not want her? <laughs> Why eh? are you people talking like this? How are you be worried should about her? a princess behave like that? Your, Your Highness. Of... Highness. Where is my daughter, the princess? Your Highness, she's in her hut. Why? Is she not going to the stream this morning? I don't know, Your Highness. So she has been in there brooding and sulking all day. Sulking? Yes. Why? She expected a visitor who did not turn up yesterday. A visitor? What visitor? 
Your Highness, a, a man we met on our way coming back home. A man? Yes, Your Highness. Oh my God. Would you? Let's go. Why did you, you see her? You see, what, you see what you have done? Eh? You see what you have done? You, you want to put me into knows. trouble? What is it? Can't you see? Say again. What is wrong with you? Behave? my queen is anything the matter I'm not looking bright at all what is it is it not my daughter the princess what about her is she not well she has been sulking all day sulking why who is responsible tell me who is responsible let me kill the person right away who a stranger they said a stranger Man or woman? A man, Your Highness. Just because he failed to keep an appointment with the princess yesterday, she has been so restless, so upset. Mm -mm. Oh, I see. Please, my queen, go and calm her down until that stranger is found. Please, do it for me. I don't want her to be upset anymore, right? Okay, my husband. On the head of that man that made your day very bad, he will pay. No, father. Please. Nothing must happen to him, please. Akweke, are you all right? Yes, father. Remember I told you that when I see that man who touches my heart, I will know. I have found him, my father. You found him? Yes. And he's already breaking your heart? No, no, my father. He's not breaking my heart. He's, he's only touching it with his love. Okay. My daughter, no one touches the man. No man touches him, right? Would that make you happy? Yes, my father. All right. May you live long. Thank you, my father. Tell the princess. Let's go. Are you sure you saw him here? Yes, at this very spot now that we're standing. He just passed through this way. So where is he? We don't know. You have to search for him. He won't be far gone. Go that way. Princess, we'll go through the spot. Let's take this way. Are you sure? 
This man is not here. Eh? This man is not here. I'm sure he has moved on to do other things. Other things like what? Um, I don't know. O other things now. Can't you understand? Let's go back. Let's, let's just we should go back. Hey. 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 That bank treating the princess like that. Like how? That man did no harm to the princess. You might not even know the princess is in love with him. But it's true. Come to think of it, how can the princess be getting excited about a man who does not even know what she feels about him? Oh. This is strange, I must confess. Ha. Let's return to her before they start to worry about us too. That's I true. Do. Did you find him? We didn't find him, Mom. We searched everywhere. We searched everywhere. We didn't see him. He is nowhere around this place. Did you find him? Mr. Do find the stranger. I see. Let's go home. Princess Akwek. What is it? Why is it that you cannot see the love I have for you? Akwek. Look into my eyes and you find out that Obuagu cannot marry any other one but you. Hunter, are you deaf? Are you deaf? Why is it that you want to hurt yourself? Akweke is not interested. I will not marry you. Obuago or Obunkita, I don't care. Akweke, listen. Akweke, listen to me. Get out of my way before I do something you will not like. Akweke, listen. listen Take to... your hunting skills and go meet some other maidens of your estate. I am not interested. Hunter of grass cutters. I'm quick, listen, I'm quick, you I said get out of my way. Get out of my way. Five days. Five days. Take it off. Eh? I don't know why you want to kill yourself over so this. To be found. What kind of a man is he anyway? A man that cannot keep to his words. If you ask me, he does not tell good of him. Just forget him. Forget no, him. No, something tells me that stranger will come. I know it. Mm, he yeah, will in come. my heart he will come. I know. This is the fifth day. When will he it come? It doesn't matter. Maybe he is taking his time. Stranger, you kept me waiting for five days. Five days. Please forgive my inconsistency. I was held up by an urgent business. Uh, most importantly is that I'm here and I'll do a brief. Brief, you say? Yes. Then you must do me a favor. What is it you request of me? Stranger, Odom. My heart goes out for you. Ever since the day I set my eyes on you, I have not stopped thinking about you. Princess, those are great words you author there. You, you don't even know who I am. I do not know you, but I know my heart goes out to you. I come from a distant land. Distance is bridged by true love. I don't care how distant your kingdom is. Princess. Akweke, please call me Akweke, my lord. Okay. What do you require of me now? Odo, I have fallen in love with you. Please don't keep me waiting. I must confess, I've also fallen for you. 
especially your beauty, that radiates so much in my heart. I've not stopped thinking about you. Then we must see the king, my father, immediately. Yes. Right away after you. Let's go. Let's go. I'll lead the way. Your Highness, I'm worried concerning Akweke, our daughter. Ever since she met this stranger of a person, she has never been herself. So restless. What can we do about it? Hmm? Because I have talked to her severally on the issue. And she remains adamant. She's bent on that stranger that we've not seen. Oh no. What do we do? Yesterday, when the maidens came back from the stream, reporting to her that they saw the stranger, Your Highness, you need to see how a quake run off from the home uh -huh. to go and meet him. This is the young man I told you has caught my admiration. His name is Odum. Sit down. You are welcome to Amanato. Where you are is called Amanato Oboro. And um, my daughter has spoken volumes about you. She has expressed her love for you. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Highness. Sincerely, I feel the same way about your daughter. And that is why I'm here today, to ask for your permission properly to have her as my wife. Mm, you have done well. It is in my place to give her hand in marriage. But um, it's also proper for me to ask you where you come from and um, what you do for a living. No, I mean when you are ready, you can just come and have her as your wife. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Your Highness. I, I was going to do that, but I said let me do the proper thing first. Getting your consent, then I'll proceed to bring my people to do the former traditional rites. Oh, that will go fine. As soon as you are ready, she's yours. Go and bring them. She's yours. Thank you. I give you my blessings. So all my efforts to discourage Aqua from getting married in work. Hmm. She wants to get married before me. Hmm. The most annoying thing is that this Odum is the kind of man my heart desires. Anyway, no problem. The fowl that misses one festival only fattens itself for another festival. I know what I'll do. I'll make sure I follow her to her husband's house. When I get there, I will do all I can to make Odun love me and forget Akweke. They think I'm their maid. I don't blame them. Is she the only maiden in this village that every man wants her? Eh? Can't they see? Do they see me? Or am I not good enough? Nonsense. Hmm. I'm waiting. Obuago. 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 The pride of Amanato Boro. The man who tricked the tiger into a trap. Yeah. 
Where is this man? Oh, boy, I'm going to go. Ha! Break it! Break it! I'm going to go. I'm going My brother. <clears throat> I have a story to tell you. Ah, uh, you will eat cola nuts. No, 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 no. Ah, Ubuago. Eh? I have not come to eat cola nuts. Because if I don't tell you this story now, I will forget it. Yeah. And when I forget it, things will spoil. Eh, eh, asundo, asundo, nothing will spoil. But I have never known you for this kind of urgency. What is it? Oh. Are you sitting down or not? Okay. <clears throat> I'm already seated. What is it? It is the princess. Princess Akweke? Yes. And what about her? She's getting married. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm not trying to pull my legs. I hope you're not just pulling my legs. <laughs> what kind of uh, talk is that? Uh, the princess is getting married. Well, Akweke is getting married to a stranger from a far place. Hey, Azundu, it will never happen. Azundu, I will kill somebody with my bare hands like an antelope. I will kill somebody. Azundu, let me tell you something. Nobody in this village of Amanatokoro is fit enough to be a Quaker's husband other than I, Obuago. I have said it. Yeah. Quaker! <laughs> Obuago. You are just bragging. Me, Obuago bragging. Listen, let me tell you. Princess Akweke. Go in. As Go in. As 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 <laughs> ah! Obuago! Ah! 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 See, let me tell you. Easy. He who rushes into a battle signs his death warrant. Azundo, let me tell you something. I am ready to die for a quake. My friend, I go hunting. <laughs> no, 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 no. What? 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 Wait, now, listen. Michael and not. Azundo. Eh? A strong palm wine. Azundo. And then a dry. Roasted bush meat, grass cutter for that matter. Then I, I, I can let you be and you go and Asun, die. This is no joke. Ubu. I am ready to die for a quick. And listen, a quick. I go hunting. Go in. Ubu. Come on, Ubu. I'm so glad I finally found you. A man after my heart. You're the one I've been waiting for. But you hardly know me. You just met me and fell in love with me. It's called love at first sight. No man in Amanato attracted me the way you did the very first time I set my eyes on you. Akweke. Yes, my lord. You know, I love to sing. You do? I love songs. I love singing too. I can sing you a song. Oh, go ahead.
My daughter, I'm worried about this whole thing. Mother, why? I had a dream. In that dream, I saw you weeping bitterly under a tree. You're sitting down there alone as you searched for your husband. I couldn't help you. Akweke, are you sure you want to marry this man? Mother, you worry too much. It's just a dream. And you know dreams usually happen in the opposite. This simply means I am going to be very happy in my husband's place. Akweke, my daughter, I am worried. Mother, you worry too much. You worry too much. Odum will take good care of me. You do not need to worry. Everything will be fine. When one finds the desire of his heart, he is happy. You're very, very happy these days. You know, we like it when you're happy. You know, when you're happy, we are happy as well. What do you people think? What do you think about the sunshine that has started shining in my life and in my heart? <laughs> my dear, every woman is happy when she finally finds that man that is the choice of her heart. And you have indeed found that one that makes you, makes you happy. Huh? So you have to be happy. Because he's really a strong and handsome one. I cannot wait to blossom in his kingdom. Kingdom? Yes. Is he a king? Yes. He is my king and he rules in the kingdom of my heart. I just cannot wait. Very, very good. What now? Princess Akweke. What crime have I committed against you? Why do you hate me so much? I heard you want to marry a stranger. How dare you interrupt my afternoon with your rudeness? I must let the king know of your constant harassment. <laughs> Akweke, Akweke, listen. My name is Obuago, the fearless one. Akweke, I'm not afraid of standing in front of the Igwe on the account of this love I have for you, Akweke. Akweke, what do I want from you? All I want from you is just be my wife. That is all. Do not let my Odum get a hold of you. He will not have mercy on you, Hunter. <laughs> yeah! mm! He is Adam. I am Obuago. The one who puts the back of Odum with his craftiness. Akweke, I will face him for your hand. I will face him. Be gone. Be gone and never show your face before me for as long as you live. It's an <laughs> order. Akweke, I will leave. But you will forever see my face until you nod to my request. Did you hear me? Mm. <laughs> I will leave. Stranger, now listen to me. When a cock enters into a new territory, it stands on one leg. Every territory stranger has its lord. You entered into my territory and did not pay obeisance. 
Why, stranger? Why? Are you dumb? Now listen to me, stranger. I am in love with the princess. Princess Akweke Adezo Chikeze. Get your eyes off her. Hmm. I see. What do you mean by uh, I see? See what? The meaning of I see is that Akweke, the daughter of Ochikeze, of Amanato, is in love with me. And there is nothing you can do about it. I insult! That's an insult! You insult me! You insult me, stranger! Let me tell you, I will challenge you to a fight. Let's face it. The winner takes a quick Hunter. Hunter. What? Hunter, why don't you get used to what you know how to do? Like killing of grass cutters. Rats. Bats. Do I look like an animal to you? Stranger, you insult me! Why waste them? Let's sort it man to man. Come, stranger. <laughs> Maybe I, I'm playing love with you. With if you. you don't want to do, you leave it. Let, 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 let me use my hands and do what, what, what is all this? Hey, 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 oh, hey. I have oh. warned him not to go hunting alone. But he has been headstrong. Two hunters are better than one. No matter how crafty a hunter is, he cannot be, beat the animals when he's alone. See, um, Azund, make sure that this massage is tough. Make sure that this hot water gets everywhere uh, on his body. And after that, put the bum on him. That's what I'm doing. My problem is that he keeps complaining. Yeah. Uh, let him complain. Let him go ahead and complain. Just make sure you do it well. I'm going to see my kinsman. Okay. Hey! Oh! Look at this. You don't know how this painful this thing is. Uh, it's okay. You'll be fine. Huh? I wonder the kind of animal that did this to you. Has my father gone far? He has gone and then far. Uh, Azundu. What is it? Should I tell you the truth? What truth? Azundu, no animal attacked me. Obago? Yes. Then what happened? Uh, you, you remember the stranger who came to marry Akweke? Uh, the stranger? I challenged him to a fight. Ubago! Uh -huh. Hey! Shut down the way, can. Ubago! I challenged him. So, after all, you mean you challenged him? Is it a crime for one to fight for what, you know, rightly belongs to him? I challenged him. So, what was the result of the challenge? Azundu. Paints all over your body, eh? Yeah? Azundu. That is not the point. You see that man we are talking about? Uh -huh. He is not human. He is not. What do you mean he's not a human being? You see, you have a problem. I say he's not a human being. And you expect me to believe you? Or maybe it's the after effect of the beating you got from That him. is your problem. That is your problem. Are we not hunters? Of course we are. Good hunters. Yes. Now listen to me. I am telling you that man is from the land of the dead. And as we must do something very, very critical to rescue Akweke from his hand. If not, there will be trouble. I know, I know. 
I know. Uh, well, I know. you know what? We are friends. Eh? So what you do now is you go into the hut. Huh? Sleep. Have enough rest. And I'll see you much later. Wait, let me let me tell you more. Do you know that even in the so-called fight that I said we fought, mm -hmm. he never touched me. We never came that close. He was dealing with me from a distance. He would wave his hand. I would go to the ground, beam. Wave his hand. I would go to the ground, beam. I see people like 12 strong men pounding me. I'm and, telling you. And you want me, Azondo, to believe you? I have told you. Hey. Believe it or not. It's so, not a joking matter. This man really deals with you. Uh, just go inside. Sleep. I will see you after no, lunch. No problem. No, give me. I am the person meant to massage you. So that. What is it? You have violated my privacy badly. Why, 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 why do you keep running after me like a fly after a saw? Have you not heard I am getting married to Odum? Princess Akweke, I have come to save you. For what? I have not called out for help from anybody. Even if I need help, my father has enough guards to save me from any danger. Akweke. When the gods want to kill a dog, they make it deaf. Listen to me. That man you want to marry, that man or doom, Akweke is not human. Akweke is a spirit. <laughs> you see how you have gone mad with your lust and jealousy. Mm. Akweke, 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 I'm not mad, I'm not mad, Akweke. Neither am I lusting after you, Akweke. Akweke, I'm being moved by pity and the strong love I have for you. Akweke, please, Akweke, do not marry Odum. Odum is not a human being, Akweke. He is a spirit. Akweke, O Barantike, Nezike, Nafon, no, no. Ntana. Please lead the way further down the stream before this incensed dog spoils my day. Akweke, listen to me. The game you are going to play is the game of death. Come back, Akweke, open your eyes. Our doom is not a human being, he's a spirit. Akweke, Uparanti Kenezi Kenafonunu. You are the one who has continued to violate my daughter's uh, privacy. You are the one? Uh, Your Royal Highness, I mean no harm towards your daughter, Akweke. Your Royal Highness, I'm just being moved by, by compassion. And to save her from, from, from an avoidable danger, Your Royal Highness. Which danger? Your Royal Highness. The man she proposes to marry is not human. He's a spirit. Will you shut up? And you, what are you? A seer? Or a hunter? Your Royal Highness, everything I'm doing towards your daughter, Akweke, is in good faith. Your Royal Highness, that man is going to bring so much pain for her if he marries Akweke. That man is not human. He's a spirit. Shut up. Shut up. I can see that you've gone mad with passion. In this hour, Amanato Oboro, we have eligible, qualified young maidens. 
Why don't you choose one out of them and marry? Any other day that I see you around my daughter, any other day you will disturb my daughter, I am going to bring down the royal rod on your head. Idiot. Now, take him away. Take him out of this place. Okay, now come here. Right, come. Move. 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 My son, they say age is in the ear. What kills a child is not heeding to sound cancer. And what kills an elder is not giving good cancer. The ear that refuses sound cancer follows a chopped head. And the fly that refuses sound cancer follows the corpse to the grave. What a young man has above an elder is strength, physical strength. The elder has wisdom. I told you here to forget that uh, Akweke and go and look for a wife amongst all the women that are littered all over Manato. You refused. Now you see what they have done to you. Father, is it a crime for a man to fall in love? I love the princess. I am not ashamed of passing through anything to get her attention. Have you not tried? Now she's being given to a stranger. So how are you going to show that your love uh, to her? And now you know that if you touch her, you are touching another man's wife. And you know the penalty that goes with it. Father, you are not getting it. Father, I have told you people that man, that stranger is not human. He's a spirit. Let the king know about this. He's a spirit. Wago, do not allow another ear to hear this. Because they will say you have gone mad. You see? I know you will not believe me. Let them say I'm mad. But let me say it again. That man is a spirit, not a human being. But Wago, how can I believe you? Or how can any sensible man believe all these outrageous claims that you're making here? Wago, if you are tired, you better go into your hut and go and rest. Father, I'll go into my hut and rest, but I'll say it again. That man is not human. He's a spirit. People of Amanato, Boro, Hear me all, hear me now. That man is not a human being. He's a spirit oh. Let it not be said that I did not speak. Look at my hands, they are clean oh. I have spoken. I have spoken. Here. Yeah. People of Amanato, a spirit has come into our community oh. Hear me out oh. Here. Yeah. <laughs> What is it? <laughs> you, 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 you're gradually going mad. As you look at you, you, you're going mad. That's how madness starts with laughter. All of a sudden, you enter the marketplace. Do you know what? I'm just imagining the ordeal at the palace. You are lucky. The eagle would have asked his guards to flog you. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait. Is that, is that why you're laughing like a bush fowl? Is that why you're laughing like a bush fowl? You know how that thing I remembered? <laughs> how you would have laid her on your stomach? Me. <laughs> me. Me. And you'd be crying for mercy. <laughs> me cry for mercy. Me. Obuago. Never. Let me tell you something. I am not a coward. And I will never be. I told Igwe my motive for coming to the palace. My motive behind all the things I've been doing for the princess. And I'll say it again. And let me tell you something. I'm ready to sacrifice my life for Akweke. Did you hear that? I don't care whether it's shame or not. I don't want to know. My brother, let me tell you. Akweke, that maiden is for another man, not you. You know, you, 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 you can imagine him. You can imagine Akweke gracing the bed of this you're man. Very stupid, you're very stupid. She will be. You're, 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 very, you're very stupid. <laughs> <laughs> she will be born. Let, let, let me tell you, you have, you have, you have very stupid. You see why I've always said that you, you, you don't think. Right? They will have two males. Huh? Ha, have you ever been in love? But My not, friend, don't let's go and hunt. Not a hunter like you. Obuago. <laughs> 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 have you ever. Father <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Let's go, Honto. Honto, Honto. Look, I'll scatter your waist now. Nothing will happen. I'll scatter your waist. Nothing will happen. I'll scatter your waist. You'll scatter my waist. I'm quaking. Quaking. My friend, let's go and hunt. Stupid man. You have never fallen in love before. Say quaking, say quaking, say quaking. Quaking. Elders of our land, I greet you. You know that we are expecting our in-laws in the next four market days. So uh, on that day, our daughter, the princess, will be taken away. So I want all of us to prepare very well towards uh, receiving them. Hmm? That's why I summoned you people. You are welcome. Eze, Ochika Eze. Dogu. You will live long. Thank you. You too will live long. Uh, the marriage of our daughter will be a great event yes. that will not take anybody by surprise. Mm -hmm. We are prepared. We have made all necessary arrangements to make our in-laws comfortable. Thank you so much. So there's no fear. Mm -hmm. um, my kinsmen, I hope I have spoken well. Mm -hmm. Good talk. Um, who's I here? You have spoken like an elder. Agumba, thank you very much. But another thing I want to add is that we have announced that every man, woman, all the youths should come out on the third market day to clean our roads and the paths. Beautiful. So, elders here, when you return to your different communities, make sure you remind your people. Thank you. That's a good one. Okay. Very good one. And in addition to that, I'd like to say this. I want the real dancers to be made ready. Hmm? Uh, and also, these uh, parlors should equally be given a first lift. Hmm? Thank you. Hmm. Now, Akum, uh, how far will the committee on food? Igwe. The foods will be made available village by village. And all the drinks have been arranged for. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, um, that ends it all. And um, let me quickly thank all of you for coming. Eh? Thank you so much. God will bless you now. Uh, I want everybody to retire home and uh, continue with the preparation. Because it's going to be a great day. Thank you so much.
welcome. Welcome. Mad man that wants to put dust on our faces. God! Your Highness, take him away. Take him away. Come on. Amanato Oboru, I greet all of you. My in laws, you are most welcome. Yes. Um, let no one be distracted by the village and eat with. Today is a great day in Amanato Buru Kingdom. What we are about to celebrate is the most memorable event in this kingdom. Today! Iwe Amanato Oboro Nkizizi is giving out his only daughter, the princess, hands in marriage, and that is great. I am happy. My in-laws, once again, I welcome you to the land of Amanato Oboro. You are most welcome. We know you come from a far distance. Amanato Oboro is not going to take so much of your time with our elaborate traditions so that you people can take your wife and return home early enough. Ozaya, go and bring my princess. Go and bring her to me.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, this is the moment. Um, Akum, Ibe. come and pour this drink. Let my daughter show us who her husband is. Pour. Ah. My daughter, rise. Take this drink and move around this vicinity and show us who your husband is. Take. Of Amanatoburu. This is the moment. May our forefathers bless this union today and forever. May you have many children for your husband. Today I bless you and say that may you be fruitful. And multiplied. Today I bless both of you and leave you with my royal presence forever. Now, Amanata Boro Quenu, Quenu, Zuanu. Oh, I'm overwhelmed. I now hand over my princess, the only but one, to the husband, Odun. Wunaka! <laughs> Take her to your home and cherish her. I'm going to go to the house! Go to the house! Go to the house! Go to the house! 
You are blessed. Huh? Um, I'm an Atoboro. Listen to me. This is very important announcement. I am going to give my daughter a parting gift. And that is that I want all her close friends to follow her to her husband's place so that they will continue to attend to my only princess.
all day. Yeah. They've finished their assignments and they've gone home. Home? Oh, yeah. Where's home? Come on, you ask a lot of questions. Why don't we get home, you relax, then you'll soon understand it. <laughs> You said my people would be your people. You said my home will be your home. And I have promised to take care of you. By the time you get home, you will get used to the situation. I feel like my mother, my mother, my mother. My kinsmen, we have come home. I think we should let the man take his wife home. Wife, welcome to our world. I hope you enjoy your stay with us. What's the meaning of this now? <laughs> <laughs> like I said to you before, when the others left us, these ones have equally finished their assignment. Hey. They have gone home. Where are we? <laughs> Welcome to the land of the dead. <laughs> I want you. Me. But you would not listen. You would have listened to the voice of the hunter. <laughs> anyway, wait for me while I return some of the things that I borrowed for your wedding. <laughs> To move fast. Some people are waiting for me. I need to return the other things that I borrowed. Let's move fast. Come with me. Come. <laughs> Stop that whining. Look, you will soon arouse the anger of some spirits. You better be calm. No, 
Bob. Don't look bright. I don't like your countenance. You're not cheerful at all. What is it? Your Highness, I would like you to send some of your guards to go and find out how our daughter is doing in her new home. I had a terrible dream about her. I'm really worried. I'm worried concerning her. It's not only you. I also had a terrible dream. But I know that uh, she's well wherever she is. Odum is a very serious young man and uh, he loves her daughter so much. Nothing will happen to them. But there is no harm in you asking them to go and find out how she's very. I'm really disturbed about her. <sighs> Alright. Alright. If that will make you happy. Um, by the way, where is Odum from? My forefathers. I didn't ask. Uju, your highness. Where is Odum from? Your highness. Hey, whoa. I never tried to find out. Hey, I don't. Neither did I. What happened? What you say? What is the problem with you? Hi! Ude? Your Majesty. Where is Odum from? Your Majesty, I did not find out. But he must be from the neighboring village of Amanato. Which of them? I did not find out, my queen. Hey. But we shall find out. Hey. Hey. This is grave mistake. How did this sleep me? What happened? Ude, I want you to assemble all my elders tomorrow, first thing tomorrow morning. And take your group. Enter the bush. Find out useful information about Odumse place. And about my daughter. You have four days to do this. Do you hear me? Four days. Your Majesty, it is done. Oh, God. Your Majesty. Four days. Your Majesty, it is done. Your Highness, 
Who did we marry our daughter to? Who did we marry our daughter to? What happened to me? What happened to Ross? Who did we marry our daughter to? Please, uh, return <sighs> to your heart. Would you? Your Highness. Please, take her back to her heart. Yes, Your Highness. Please. Child. Hey. Your Highness. Oh my God! Would you? Would you want a window? Would you want a window? Oh my God! Ah! 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 of a land, it's no time for protocols. I have called all of you here to intimate you on a very serious uh, matter concerning my daughter, the princess. Now I want to ask you all, does any of you know where that man that took my daughter came from? Personally, I don't know him. Who's I? Your Highness. Okay. It escaped my attention. I didn't even ask her. My God. I'm awfully sorry. It was a big slip. I'm sorry. What about you or the elders? Uh, your Highness, what you are saying is true. But I want to tell you that we were so carried away and we were so overjoyed with drinking and the other merriment that nobody thought of that at all. Hey! <laughs> so we gave my daughter to a total stranger that we don't even know where he came from. Now I want you to listen to me, all of you. You must report back to your villages and communities and conduct a search to know if there should be useful information about 
the whereabout of my daughter. Please. And whoever that is going to have a useful information concerning my daughter or about that man will be rewarded with a wife. And if it's a woman, I am prepared to reward her with five she goats. Now please leave. Leave. You have four days to do this. Just four days. This is a serious matter. We were overexcited. We were overjoyed. custodian of the gods, the bridge between the living and the dead, the eyes of the night, you are welcome to my palace. Iwa, I greet you. Ikuku, mm -hmm. the wise one, my heart has not known joy lately because of my daughter. Iwa, the spirit married your daughter in order to punish her. And where is my daughter now? Is she alive? Igwe, your daughter is alive in the land of the dead. <sighs> the gods of our forefathers. What have I done to be rewarded like this? What? Why me? The wise one. Igwe. What do I do? Please advise me. What do I do? Igwe, mobilize men to search for her. These are the three men for the journey. Very good. You are welcome. I greet you, my sons. Your Royal Highness. My name is Obuago. That hunter who tried to stop your daughter from marrying that man, Odum, the stranger. You ordered that I should not come close to her or be punished. I'm being propelled by that same love that made me to seek the hand of the princess. I am back on this journey, not knowing what my fate will be, but ready to face anything because of the princess. Thank you very much, my son. Let me start by apologizing to you for the way you were treated. We are Awfully sorry. Your Royal Highness. I want to make a promise that if you undertake this journey to the land of the spirit and return, that the palace will take care of your wife and your children. Your Royal Highness, I'm not married. Neither do I have children. But I made a vow that I will not marry any other person apart from Akweke. So you are not yet married? I am not, Your Royal Highness. I see. Uh, Your Majesty, my name is Azundu. Obuagu here is my friend. 
and I've promised to embark on this journey with him, for he is a friend indeed. Great. Your Highness, you will live long. You will live long too, my son. Mbata is my name. Ubuagu is my very good friend, just as Azondo is also my very good friend. I have decided that I will stand beside them as we undertake this journey. For there is an ancient saying, it is only a chief priest with plenty of contentment that dares to challenge the evil forest. Mm. I am totally overwhelmed. For the sacrifice that is about to be made for the sake of this kingdom. Amanato Oboro. Before all of us present here, and before our forefathers, I declare this young man heroes. Yeah. And if they embark on this journey to the land of the spirit and return in peace, I am going to confer to each of them the title of uh, Dike Ndikere of Amanato Guru. Yeah. Wise one. Igwe. I want you to fortify these young men so that they will go and conquer. Igwe. They will move in four days' time. Good. Now come. Near them. By the powers conferred on me by our forefathers, I declare this journey a success. May the gods of our land protect you and guide you. You shall go, you shall fight, and you shall conquer. Go in peace and bring us good news. Go and come back. Amanato Kuru will be waiting for you. May the gods of the land protect you. Professor
not continue to cry like people without any hope. Stop weeping. The gods that gave a child what I am will give him what to dig it up with. Stop weeping. The gods will not now let's wash our hands and shell our punk for spraying fouls. It's all right. Please come. Come. Help, help, help. Come. It's all right.
Water is so refreshing to my tired feet. <laughs> you know, I feel like getting into the water like a fish and soaking myself wet. No, there is no time. Let us just wash our feet. When we are done, we can now come for a thorough bath. Wash only our feet. Yes, that's it. What do you think? <sighs> oh! Azundo, Mbata, we are up to it. Ah, it's gone! Yes. There is danger lurking around. Let's get out of this place now. Obogo. Let's get out, let's get out!
I said it. This place is a dead end. Hmm? Where do we go to now? I am so confused. A place where three footpaths meet? I'm so confused, I don't know. Which one do we choose? Wago. Mbata. We have arrived. The land of the dead. Oh? We are close to it! Azundo. Mm. Why do you say so? I say this because so many strange things have been happening. Hey! hey! Who are you? Show yourself! Show if yourself. you don't show yourself, we're going to... Hey! 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 Don't start a war you cannot finish. I came to help you. Take care, Cutlass. Hey, Kuku. You came on time. Right on time. This is the way. Follow me.
Amanato Oboro cannot be happy. We have been bereaved and we have been mourning, mourning bitterly. Your Highness, we must not completely lose hope. We have to wait to see what comes out of the men's adventure. Uzaya, Igwe, you surprise me. This is my opinion. You baffle me with that your opinion. Who's here? Yeah. Are you not an elder? Now let me ask you. Have you seen anyone that went to the land of the spirits and returned? Have you? Your Majesty, I agree with you, Zahir. Yeah. Let us be patient and wait with hope. Who knows? Our ancestors may have patience and fulfill our hope. Your Highness, if our chief priest, Ikuku, supports the adventure of those young men, then there is hope. We must wait patiently for their return. Uh, oh, yeah. It's all right. Since it is uh, a general consensus, Let's wait. Let's wait. It's just that my heart is heavy. Must follow the cops to the grave. You, you again. I have come to take that which rightfully belongs to me. Release it. You are too daring. This is the land of the dead. No one comes here and goes with his life. But let me tell you, I am Obuago. <laughs> I hunt tigers and lions and bring their backs on the ground. I skin them and give their skins to kings. Their flesh from it. Odum, the stomach is never afraid of standing in front. Yes. yes! Very true. We have neither lions nor tigers here. We prey on humans like you and turn them into plain things. You are played into my territory. I will deal with you all. No, but why waste what you did? Let me stop <laughs> Don't try the human power then. One of bottle. Come on. 
cousin. Mbaka. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can you see me? What happened here? Can you see me? I can see you. What happened? Let us get out of this place now. Let us go. I don't know what to do with the situation in my kingdom, in our kingdom. My daughter, Akweke, was taken away by an unknown person who we later found out is a spirit. Our youths, our able-bodied men went after them. But today, after many months of their departure, we don't know what happened to them. My wife has given herself to unceasing wailings and bitterness. We must live our lives as a, a kingdom and as individuals, we will not continue to wait like this. Therefore, I have decided to summon all of you so that we will prepare their burial rites. Maybe that way, we'll be able to put this situation behind us. That is the essence of this meeting. I greet you once again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Did you see that? Did you see that? I'm going to go. No, I'm going. Let's go. But what? I don't want to come on. I'm going to go. Vote to 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 We must be courageous. Asundo, a man dies only once. For us to have lived to this moment, it means there's hope. But we must look for Akweke and her group. We must! How do you think we'll find them? Couple with all these strange things happening here? Strange hey. things happening. Asundo, have you forgotten what Ikoku told us? The necklace, Asundo, and the Bubagu leaf. Yes, the necklace. We will survive with it. Hey, what, what is it? What is it? A bubble leaf. I, I can't find it. What do you mean by you can't find your bubble leaf? That is trouble, you know that? Will be preserved for us. This is our prayer. Uh, we are all here, your humble servants, to plead with you to be strong and try and eat some food. If anything happens to you, the kingdom will suffer. We are only humans, not gods. We are beginning to be affected adversely by your condition. Was I here? Thank you very much. Thank you, Igwe. You've spoken wisely. I am proud of you. I have heard all that you said. But I want to say that uh, I have a problem. It is not easy for a man to forget the loss of an only child. Your Highness, what 
makes a man is his ability to endure hardness. The misfortune of our work affects all of us because she is our princess. But shall we continue to mourn the loss? I think the best thing we can do for her and the others is to give them befitting funerals. And that way, we'll continue our lives and forget about the rest. Thank you. Thank you so much. You too, you have spoken wisely. I am happy that after all, I still have uh, men that have uh, wise counsel. But the only problem that I have is my queen, my wife. The whole thing has affected her badly. Mm. And I ask, if I stand it, can she also stand it? It's just my problem. Ikuku, Ikuku, there is trouble. Ikuku, what do I do? Don't give up. Princess needs your help. Don't forget to live. Asaelo asala, vototo vototo vototo.
Ogo. Listen, listen to me. This is no time for wailing. We have to get out of this place and wake it. My strength fails me. No, no. I have decided that we bury our children and forget about them. But according to the tradition of Amanato, it is the children that will bury their parents and not the other way around. As the Igwe, it is not proper that I will witness the burial of my only child. I have therefore decided to go to my mother's place and stay for seven days according to our traditions. Thereafter, when these children must have been given befitting burial, I will return to continue. Igwe, you will see to it that the burial rites are properly done for these children because they did a lot of sacrifice. Please, after which you will send words to me to come back and continue. Did I make myself clear? Uh, Igwe, you've said it all. That it is not proper for an Igwe to witness the burial of his child. And you are going to stay away in your mother's home for seven days uh, with the members of your cabinet are promising you that we are going to follow the tradition of Amanato strictly in giving burial rights to these children. So thank you very much, Igwe. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> If you swallow men alive, this is the time. If you swallow men alive, vomit. And then I'll put that in. Where is your brother? I'm making it. I didn't do your head. I didn't do your head. You cannot take the title of a king without a fight. Let's see me again. I'm not going to. We are set to. Um, have you prepared? We are going to wait for this. Because soon everybody will move to the burial site. Exactly. Yes. Yes. That There's nothing more. We can't help you. No, it's true. Wait, what are we doing? What's happening? Is that your bag? Who was the guy now? Oh, yeah, hey, who was the guy? Oh, my God, 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 i
for you every day my heart my love for you grows stronger day by day oh can't you see my arms are open for you to come on in oh why do you run so far away from Come to me, my 